Hello, welcome to a particular, uh, this session I'm in, and in particular, I'll be looking at loan amortization. To amortize a loan basically means that you are reducing your loan obligation gradually, gradually, but in equal installments, in equal installments. The equal installments you are making could either be yearly, monthly, or depending on whatever arrangement, agreement you have with the bank. So I have a question here where they have given us the loan, which is a million borrowed. And then we have number of years are three. So they want us to pay in three equal installments and then R is 15%. So remember this N, three years, gives us three equal installments. So the installments here will be annuities, annuities. And if it's annuities, then we have to use PVFA. Then the very first thing you need to do for you to be able to come up with a loan amortization schedule here, is to come and give us the PVFA. So how do we get PVFA? So whenever you hear of loan amortization schedule, there must be a PVFA. PVFA is one minus one plus R, raised to negative N over R. So then this will be one minus, our R is 15%, so it will be one plus 0 0.15. Raised to how many years? Three years. Divided by R again, which is 0.15. So please here be a bit careful. It will be one minus 1.15, raised to negative three, right? Equals divided by 0.15, which gives me 2.2832, thank you. And then I'll come and remember very fast our formula of getting present value. Whenever we have an annuity, present value will be the annuity, annuity that will be required here to pay, which basically will be your installment, your installment, times the PV far. So having gotten this PV far up there, we are appreciating the fact that now we need to come and uh, get the installment. So what is the present value? The amount that I've been loaned today. These guys have given me a million shillings. So they've given me a million shillings installment. I don't know how much the installment will be, but fortunately I know the PV far is 2.2832. So once I have this for sure, I'll be able to get the installment very easily. My installment here, my installment there will be equal to, if I make installment, the subject will be equal to 1 million divided by this. It will be 1 million divided by 2.2832, which will end up giving us what figure somebody, which will be 1 million divided by 2.2832, which will end up giving us 437, 437, 437, 981, 981, 0 0.78, 0 0.78. That is the installment per annum. So once I get that, the next thing that I need to do is to come and now provide what we call a loan amortization schedule. A loan amortization schedule. So come and give us a loan amortization schedule. So loan amortization schedule, what do we have? We have time here. We have time there, zero, not zero, but one, two, three years. Right, so we have the beginning balance, beginning balance. So beginning balance, and then we have the installment to be paid, the installment to be paid there. And then after installment, of course, we have, we have the interest amount in this installment, and then we have the principal amount, principal amount, and then lastly, now we have the closing, the closing balance. Lastly, we have the closing, balance, closing balance like that. Closing balance like that. So please straight away, start with what year, with the installments which have got to be uniform throughout. So the installment, we have 437, 437, 981.78. So we have 437, 981.78. We have 437, 981.78 like that, right? Great, great. So beginning balance, we began with a loan of how much? We began with a loan of 1 million, right? Now interest, they have told us it's 15% per annum. Remember it's 15% of the beginning balance, 15% of the beginning balance. So 15% of a million, 15% of what we began with in the first year is 150,000. So now out of this, I'll need to get, I'll need to get the principal. Remember, anytime you make an installment to any bank, 
anytime you pay an installment to any bank, it has to be interest plus what year somebody plus the principal. Interest plus the principal. So if you want now to get the interest amount, if you want to get the interest amount, basically you will be picking the installment that you, not even interest, but principal. If you want to get the principal amount, like here we want to get the principal here, you'll take the installment you have paid minus the interest like that. So like now here, I'll come and talk of this 437,981 minus 150,000, minus 150,000, which gives me 287, 287, 981.78. So then how do I get closing balance? To get closing balance, I will take the beginning balance. Remember beginning balance can only be reduced by the principal. So to get closing balance, take the beginning balance minus the principal. Minus the principal, take the beginning balance minus the principal. So we have here 287, 981.78 minus, or rather 1 million minus that. So we have 1 million minus this answer which then gives me a balance, a closing balance of 712, 712, 018.22. Once I have the closing balance there, automatically closing balance of year one becomes my opening balance of year two. So then this is 712, 018.22, 718.22. So of course, installment has been taken care of. So straight away, give me the interest for this year by multiplying this by 0.15. So we have here 106, 106, 802.73. So how do I get principal? It's here. Take the installment minus this. So we have 437, 437, 981.78 minus this answer, which will give me 331. So the principal is 331.179, 331,179, like that. So once I get this figure, straight away take it away from the beginning balance to get us the closing balance. Closing balance is beginning minus the principal. So come and take 712, 712, 018, 018.22 minus uh, this answer, which basically I'm working with the whole numbers because mine is simply to show you the concept. It is 380, 8.39. So this 388.39 closing balance is what I'll bring here as my beginning balance, 388.39. So having picked it here, I'll be able to use it to get the interest, which is 15% of the beginning. So times 0.15, then what do I have here at the end of the day? I have 57, 57, 125 point, I can't even leave the point for now, 57, 125, right? And then I'll come and give us the principal. How do we get the principal? It's installment minus interest. Installment is given here, which is 437, 437, 981.78 minus, minus the answer there, which ends up giving me uh, a principal of 380, 380, 380, 855, 855, 855, 855. So then, of course, we expect, ladies and gentlemen, that when you take the closing balance, which is your beginning minus the principal, we should be able to get exactly zero here. But at times, because of what you're rounding off errors, like now you can see here, you're going to get a negative something, but you don't show that negative something, you write what here, zero there. So at the end of the day, we've been able to amortize our loan schedule to zero. Don't show the negative there or whatever amount there, because at the end of the day, we need to have a zero balance. The difference there is being brought up because of what here differences in terms of rounding off error. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much. Be blessed. Be blessed.